With the PS30 sensor, almost each and every function can be set up on the sensor's display. This ensures an easy installation and commissioning on the sensor's display directly without the need for any software installation or PLC requirement. In this tutorial, the possibilities of configuration at the display, as well as the first sensor setup, will be explained. For presentation purpose, the PS30 demo case is used. The sensor is installed within a perfect distance of 20mm to a drum, on which a SICK label is fixed. Below the drum, there is an encoder from the DFS60 product family, which is necessary in order to provide the necessary impulse information to the sensor. The sensor is connected with a 12-pin cable, which provides the power supply, as well as the impulse signals from the encoder. Also, the switching output, as well as the status output, is connected with this cable. After the sensor is connected and has booted, the first setup settings are required to be configured. The sensor asks for the initial values, which are also stored after a restart of the sensor. However, it can be modified in the settings menu. The requested first installation data is the encoder type, the encoder resolution, as well as the encoder direction. With the encoder type, one can distinguish between a TTL or HTL encoder output signal. The encoder resolution can be calculated as follows. The circumference of the drum is 471 mm, which shall be divided by the number of encoder impulses per rotation. In this case, it is 1800 impulses. The resulting resolution then is 262 microns. The encoder direction decides between automatic direction detection, a clockwise or counterclockwise encoder direction. These values have to be confirmed before getting back to the main menu. On the first level of the menu, there are four different items. Monitoring, Teach-in, Setting and Device Info. There is a separate tutorial which demonstrates and explains the Teach-in item. The item Monitoring allows to check and read out the current sensor setting, such as Quality of Run, which shows the quality of run in up to six bars. The quality of teach, which shows the quality of teach in up to six bars. The teach length, which shows the length of the label which has been taught in. Actual length. In the mode endless material, the detected label length is shown. Encoder position shows the current encoder position. One gets back to the main menu by pressing the escape button. The next item which is presented is the setting menu. In this menu, the different parameters of the sensor can be modified, such as mode, which allows a switch between single object and endless mode. The three menu items encoder type, encoder resolution and encoder direction, which allow the modification of the first installation settings. Further menu items are the settings for the external teach as well as the ethernet configuration. By reset, the sensor can be set into factory settings. The fourth main menu is Device Info. It shows the current IP address, the current software version, as well as the serial number. In this tutorial, the possibilities for the configuration and settings have been presented. For more information about the teach-in process, please refer to the corresponding tutorial.